this video I will show you how to transfer new patches to a microkorg from a Mac computer using Korg's free sound editor. Check my other video if you want to transfer patches to an MS-2000 using the system exclusive protocol. Please watch this video in its entirety before you try any operation. Here is what you need. A Mac computer with a USB or Firewire port. Korg's free sound editor, which you can download from Korg's website in the support section. There is a direct link in the description of this video. At least one MIDI cable. A USB or Firewire MIDI interface. I will use my PreSonus Firewire interface for this demonstration. Keep in mind that most cheap USB to MIDI cables are not capable of handling the communication between your Mac and your microkorg. In other words, you won't be able to back up the patches you have programmed or transfer new patches to your keyboard. Choose a real good MIDI interface instead. Connect the MIDI out of your interface to the MIDI in of your microkorg using the MIDI cable. In the preference section of the sound editor, make sure that your MIDI interface is selected both for MIDI in and MIDI out. Then set the MIDI channel of the editor to the same MIDI channel selected in the global section of your microkorg. If you never change the MIDI channel of your microkorg, then channel 1 will do just fine, as it is the default channel that comes with the factory settings of the microkorg. Now you can already preview your new sounds and play them on your keyboard. Load your downloaded file in the sound editor. Click on the program icon. A list with the names of the patches will appear. Don't panic if you see an empty list. Patch names are usually added by programmers, so it might be that no name was given to a patch, although there actually is a patch in the memory slot. Just double click on a title or an empty slot to transfer only that patch to your microkorg. The patch is transferred but it is not yet stored in memory. You can now choose a memory location and store it manually, given that the memory protection of the microkorg is set to off. Memory protection blocks any attempt to store data in a memory slot, so that your precious patches are safe from being overwritten by error. It will also block any incoming data, mostly system-exclusive data, which would overwrite the settings and memories of the entire keyboard. Turn off memory protection on the microkorg by pressing Shift and 8. Turn the first knob counterclockwise and then press Shift to exit. Now that memory protection is off, you can transfer a whole bank in one shot using the transmit command from the MIDI menu in the sound editor. This operation will overwrite all existing patches on your keyboard. Do this only after you have backed up all your patches, or if you just don't mind losing them. You can still recover the factory presets of the microkorg by doing a factory reset, but any new patch you have programmed yourself will be gone forever without a backup. If you already have a MIDI cable connecting the MIDI out of the keyboard to the MIDI in of your interface, just use the receive command from the MIDI menu to copy all your patches to a new file in the sound editor. Remember to save the file in your computer. If you're curious to see how a specific patch is programmed, the sound editor offers a graphical interface for all parameters. Just double-click on a patch name, then double-click on the different tabs that appear in the new window. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions, write in the discussion section of my YouTube channel.